a bit of equipment today. Um, so we need a weight um, and a band, a step and a chair. It is calf and shin that we're going to be doing today. But if you don't have any of them, Charlotte, it's absolutely fine. I'll show you um, alternatives. Um, it's absolutely fine. Um, there's, it's going to be a circuit we're going to go through twice, hopefully today. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine exercises. The last two are plyometric exercises, which is basically um, jumps. But uh, again, modify as you can. There'll be calf raises, which we'll use the weight for, and there'll be ankle rockers, so you can do it with or without the weight. So that's absolutely perfect. Um, without further ado, we'll just get started, I think. So we're going to start with a little bit of a warm-up, first of all. So we're going to do... Um, box jump first of all. The box jump, we start off the right hand foot itself. So right hand foot forward, or we step back and then step forward. All the way back and forward. So lower limb today from probably the knee down we're focusing on, the calf, but also tibialis anterior, which is at the front of the shin, a lot of Shin splint pain comes from there. And uh, the tib post and the perineals, which are the kind of like the rudders of the foot, they kind of control that movement. And we're also going to do a lot of that jumps at the end to try and get them all fired up together. 10 seconds and we'll switch over to the left hand side. Five seconds. Three, two, one, left hand leg, and off we go. You can stretch through here. Down, and forward. It's good to have that screen up so we use small bit so you can see my head. There we go. So that left hand leg. Forward. Just trying to wake up that ankle joint, wake up that hip joint, keeping that knee nice and straight the whole time. Ten seconds. Five. Three, two, one. We're going to our founder stretch next. So we're going to have our feet about shoulder width apart. Hands are going to be pressed together. And we're just going to push ourselves back. And we're going to hold in this position here for a minute. So ready. Feet together. Separate them. Turn the toes in slightly. Hands together. Push the hands forward. And reach forward. This is Kate. So we're in a founder position. Hold in this position here, long spine. We're not rounding out, we're long through the spine as much as we can. Hold in this position, press the feet down, push the hands forward. Hold, hold, hold. We're going to hold for 30 seconds, and then we'll have a second set. Really push your hips back. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, really breathe out. Sounds a bit weird, but try and breathe out through your bottom by pushing your bottom backwards and relax, so your legs up, shake up. Second set coming up. And again, what we're going to do this time is feet shoulder apart, but just turn them in slightly. Okay, so just have them turned in slightly. Hands together. Three, two, one. Push the hips back. Really press the fingertips together so our elbows are high. We're pushing our hands together there as much as we can, okay? So again, we're in this kind of position now, long through the spine, really trying to push the hips back. Excuse me. Let's go over here, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, back out we come. Last one's gonna be our torque, so last part of the warm is gonna be our torque, so hands on hips. And all we're going to do is have our feet and we're just going to drop the knees in as we rotate forward. Dropping in, 
shoulders, nice and slow and controlled. Don't worry about speed. What about really honing in on what that foot is doing? Onto the big toe when the knee comes forward, onto the heel when the knee comes back. So really getting into that foot. A couple of clicks and clacks, that's absolutely normal. Getting the joints of the foot nice and warmed up. Good work. 30 seconds, then we're into our circuit for today. Um, lower limb, calf, tib to post, perineals, all the foot structures as well as we'll be working today. Uh, you will need a band, a weight and a step, but there'll be some alternatives that you don't need to have them with. So it'll just be a wee bit easier without the band. Three, two, one, and relax. So grab your bands for the first one. So all you're going to do is have the bands around about the front of the feet. But normally, what we do is we do a walk. We're going to have our toes off the ground when we're walking. So I'm going to do it on my mat. So all we're going to do is have our toes off the ground as we walk, keeping the band as wide as we can. If you don't have a band, just do the exact same thing, but have your toes off the ground itself. So we've got a minute in this position. Three, two, one. Heels down, toes pulled up, and keep that nice and wide as much as you can. You can feel the front of the shin working. Don't worry about taking big steps forward. Just take nice, small, small steps yourself there. Knees nice and straight, toes pulled up. Try and think about the ball of your foot not touching the ground if you can, keeping the heel of the foot. Unless you've got any heel pain, press right into the mat itself. If you don't have a mat, trainers can work or just put a wee cushion down and just march on the spot. Whole legs can start working, quads can work. Pull that toes up. So really try and pull that toes up towards you to get that tip and working. 10 seconds and another second drill. Three, two, one. Keep your band in place, just remember the ankles, grab your chair. We're going to be doing inversion, inversion of the ankle. So I want you to sit and we're going to be cross leg. It doesn't matter which one first. So again, you're going to cross leg yourself, step on the band, have the band right about the front of the foot here. And all we're going to do is let the foot drop down. Pull the foot up, foot pulls up, drops back down. So we've got a minute here in three, two, one, off we go. Pull back down. If you have a band, just to do the same movement, really try and control the downward movement itself there. So we're really trying to get the ankle to control rather than the band just pulling us down. So super, super slow, under control. Pull and back down. So really try and get as high as you can with the underside of that foot. Halfway there, 30 seconds. Really try and get this ankle nice and stable, nice and secure, nice and strong. 15 seconds. Ten. Three, two, one, and switch over, step down, cross over, and just reassess the band, and off we go. Go against the band and control on the way back down. Push at the band and relax back out. Push. Push, pull. Really feel that ankle working. Pull into the band. So this is working that tip post to pull the band up with it inside of the shin here. And then as we control it back down, that same tip post is lengthening the boot slowly so we're controlling it through range.
three, two, one, and put the balance to the side. Run up your step if you've got one, or a hard back boot if you've got one as well. And we're just going to do our calf raises. I'm going to use a weight, if you've got a weight, that'd be perfect. If you've got a weight, that's absolutely fine as well. If you don't have a step, that's absolutely fine as well. Just do it from what you've got, okay? So you're going to be on, step, one leg off, we're lowering, and we're pressing. Three, two, one, off we go. And we're going to try to go as deep down as we can with the calf, so what we call negative angle. And then really press through the toes to bring yourself back up. You can stretch from the other side of your feet, but also that calf, quad, glutes all working together. Press through, raise up. Press through, raise up. Keep that leg nice and straight. You'll feel that calf working. Five, three, two, one. Switch over. Opposite leg. Three, two, one. Off we go. And we're just holding that weight down by our side. We're going as high as we can go, and we're going as low as we can go. Push through, back down. Push through. Working hard through here. Other legs completely off. Single leg straight as you can go for the gas shock element. And bent leg in a wee bit of time will be our soleus. So, gas drop just now. Working all that component in about that lower portion of the foot. Three, two, one pop the step to the side, well done, good job. And we're into an ankle rocker, so we're going to be in a long lunge position. So we're going to be in a long lunge position, and all we're going to do is have our weight just on that front leg itself. So long lunge, weight's going to be in the front, and we're just going to lunge forward and back out. But I want you to think about going over the big toe, Come back on the heel, okay? Ready? Off we go. Lunge forward, rotate, back out. Lunge forward, rotate, back out. If you've not got a weight, just put your hands on your knee and lean onto that knee itself. Press the foot into the ground. Rotate, back out. Make sure we go forward, then rotate. So we're not dumping out through the side of the ankle. We're going straight forward, and then we rotate last. And it's just a small rotation. Just place the weight onto the big toe. Not collapsing down through the arch. We're pressing forward, nice and strong through that foot. Some ankle joint range, get some strength at the end of it. Three, two, one, switch over. Left leg forward, weights on top. Three, two, one, off we go. Again, just map out that. Curve through the foot from the heel through to the big toe to the heel through to the big toe. Good work. And you just see that knee drift across midline just at the end there. Rather than straight forward over the second toe, we're letting it fall in. Good 
work nice and controlled. 15 seconds. Three, two, one, and we're straight into our bent leg calf raise. So step comes back in, step comes back in, and the bent leg calf raise this time. So it's the exact same thing as we're doing before. We run a stiff leg, the knee is going to be bent. Okay, so we're going to have ourselves on the step, drop down, and we're just going to rock and roll forward with that knee. Start in three. Two, one, off we'll drop down, rock forward, rock back. That way over, so lean over that foot, heel raise, drop down, knee stay bent. You probably will feel the shake after a wee bit of time, the higher you go, the more it will shake. Nice and bent the whole time. Rocking that heel, lift that heel. Three, ten seconds. Three, two, one switch over onto our right hand side this time or your opposite side bend knee down off we go raise that heel press down rolling you forward by lifting that heel That chest forward over the foot. Shake is there today. Working hard. Three, two, one. Pop your weights to the side. Grab your bands again. You do a band. Just copy the exact same movement just without the band and stuff. So you're going to have yourself. Stand. So, palms are going to be under both feet. And all we're going to do is we're going to stand and we're going to hold ourselves in knee flexion. Okay, 30 seconds each side. So, we're going to stand nice and tall, ready, and we drive through. And we're holding this position here. Knee drive, toes up. Hold yourself nice and strong. Pull through the band. Really work from here. 15 seconds. Hold the knee high. Don't let the knee cross midline. Hold back. Three, two, one. Switch over, change sides. Ready. Drive through, cool up. Off we go. Keep yourself nice and tall, nice and strong. Pull the toes up. Push right foot in my instance down to the ground. Get as nice wide a base as possible. Ten seconds. Find four, three, two, one, and keep the band on. We're going to do our crab walk. So we're going to go sideways, sideways, sideways. Sideways, ready, off we go. Sideways, sideways. Nice big steps if we can. Lift the feet rather than drag them. Band says round about the feet first in here. Stay in here. 
Having the band round by the feet works the ankle harder. Having the band round by the knee works the glute harder. So again, keep it nice and close to that foot. Halfway there. Nice and controlled. Step, 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 step. Five, four, three, two, one. Last ones, guys. So pogos. 20 seconds only. 20 seconds of pogos. So hands are going to the hips. We're going to try and jump as high as we can. We're going to keep our knees as straight as we can. So it's all coming from the ankles itself. Okay, so we're really working the ankles. And three, two, one off the rope. So knees stay as straight as possible. Breathe work in from the ankle. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax there. Second set. Three. Two, one, off the go. Up with. And relax there. Give us a little shake out. We've got a full set again, full set again. So. First one's going to be a 10 and walk. So we've got the band round about the front of the foot. And we're going to walk on our heels itself there. So ready. Toes up, heels down. Ready. Off we go. Minutes here. Toes up, heels down. Toes up, pull them up. Actively pull them towards you. So you can really feel that front of the shin working hard. And if you want to be fancy, you can walk backwards as well, but keeping that ball of the foot off the ground. Make sure you pull the pinky toe and the big toe up. Pulling that pinky toe just activates that tip and just a little bit more, halfway there. Keep the tension on the band, so keep the band wide, so no cheek going narrow. Pull that whole front of the foot up, you'll feel the front of the chin with the glute working, 15 seconds. 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rather than the inversion, we keep the band on. Now we're going to just keep the heel down and we're just going to flick that ankle joint out. So flick the ankle joint out. So we're working on what we call eversion this time, which is the outside pair of needles. Rather than tip post, perineals. Heel stays pinned down, flick the ankle. Not so much the knee, it's got to come from the ankle joint itself. And you're pulling with that pinky toe itself. Really flick, just like you're flicking a football just away with the side of your foot, just flick through that foot. Five, three, two, one. Shift the weight over, straight in. Flick that foot round. Keep pressing, pulling, rotate that foot. Really good for that shin. Great for like a shin splinty tight presentation. Really keep the heel down, but everything comes from the heel itself or from the ankle joint. We're really working. We're not just twisting the leg round. We're making it come from the ankle joint itself there. There will be a certain rotation, but it's all got to start from the ankle. Five, four, three, two, 
five, three, two, one. When our calf raises next, the calf raises with or without weight. I'll show you without weight this time around, just for those without weight. So you may be one step itself. Right, next is straight. Three, two, one. Off we go. All the way up. All the way down. Press. Control. Press through range. Control back down. Press. Control. Next is straight the whole time. Five, three, two, one, switch round, opposite side, right leg in my instance this time. Ready, off the go. High, high. Leg nice and straight. Really press to the ground. Be up tall without the torso. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one, ankle rockers again. Use the weight on the knee itself. And off the go. Right foot forward. Weight on the ankle, really rock forward. Stretch that calf after we've worked it. Stretch through that range and let that little rotation come into the weight on the big toes will come forward. Roll on the big toe, back out. Roll on the big toe, back. Keep working. Five, three, two, one, switch over. Off the leg, ready, off the go. Five, three, two, one, with a bent legged calf lay. So again, we're using a step, bent legged calf lay, that's ready. Five. Off we go. Bend that leg down, roll forward. Roll forward. That knee bent the whole time, and the weight is falling over the top of that knee. Five, three, two, one, switch legs. Ready, off we go. That leg. Nice and bent, keeping the weight over the toes. Ten seconds. Keep that whole hand for the last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
And relax there, grab your fans, guys. It's going to be 30 seconds. We're just going to get our, our hold at the top. So grab the bands. Single leg knee drive. Last couple of drills. So ready? Three, two, one. Drive through the hold. We've got a 15 second hold here. Then we'll switch over 15 seconds on the offside. Really cool. Really work hard for the 15 seconds. Press that foot into the ground. Drive through. Opa. And switch. Drive through. Pull that knee up. Really get the height. Keep this hip flexor working, but don't lean forward into it. Keep ourselves up nice and tall. Three, two, one. Back down to a side step. Side steps. Off we go. Straight in. Working hard, guys. Do really well. Halfway there. Stay low, knees bent, chest forward, weight forward. Five, three, two, one. Put the band to the side and our pull goes. Two sets, 20 seconds to finish off with. Ready? Off we go. All pumps from the ankle. Ten seconds. Last set, last twenty seconds of work, guys. The lower run through. In five, three, two, one. Second set of the book. All comes from the ankle joints. We're trying to push feet into the ground. Pull toes up as we jump as well. Five. Three, two, one, and relax there, guys. Well done, good work. Try to get through as much as I could in that second set there. Well done, just going to pause the recording. Excellent work. So, any like lower, below the knee issues, ankle sprains, plantar fascial pain, um, Achilles tendons, shin splints, all that can be quite a nice little workout for that. So keep that tools in your locker for, for that kind of injuries themselves. Um, I was struggling a bit with my ankle and struggled with a couple of the drills there, but uh, well done, guys. Really good work. Really, really good. Any questions or queries about anything there? All good. Well done, guys. Good work. Have a lovely weekend. Keep running. Um, thanks, James. Was it saying sickly? Yes. Keep, keep dancing. Keep running. <laughs> She's that wrong.